Hey there, so just before we get started on this video, for those of you who don't know and aren't following me on social media, Instagram and Facebook is where I'm mostly active, last week I had a video production trip down to Sicily. And also for those of you who don't know, uh, I actually happen to be a video editor, camera operator, videographer, I've worked in television and broadcast, so yeah, that's a that's part of what I do. So that's why I was down in Sicily. And also, just keep in mind that the video you're about to see is not reflective of the quality of the work that I do in a professional capacity. This was my absolute first time there and I fell in love with this place. This just happened to be my first day there. I got there late at night and this was on a Sunday and this was the day, the only day that I thought I would have free to record anything. In the end, I actually had a little bit of extra time so I was able to record content, at least enough footage that I hope to be able to put out at least a couple more videos about Sicily and also talking about Sicily versus where I live. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in Alto Adige up in the north of Italy. Completely different culturally linguistically, culinary, everything is completely different. It was almost like going to a different country. Anyway, I'm rambling here. Hope you all enjoy the video. Good morning, Palermo. Hey, hey what's up? I'm Rafael Di Furia, aka Rafi Di is me, and I am back at it again on another beautiful Friday night. Okay, it's morning right now. But today is my first day here in Sicily and I am in Palermo on Via Roma and that is the central station back behind me. And I'm gonna go explore a little bit today, so let's go have some fun. <laughs> and of course, a good part of any outing in Italy and any time you have a meal proper meal ends with gelato. <laughs> that was such a good gelato. <laughs> okay, so I kind of just fell asleep <laughs> for like three hours and uh, yeah, it's just about dark now, but this place is popping everywhere you go. Anyway, I need to grab a little bit of water. Thankfully, just across from my hotel, there's a beetle, so it's uh, really easy just to get that, but I think I'm gonna try to see if I can pop somewhere else because I saw something that has something that I want in another place, but let's see if they're open. It's a Sunday, most things are closed. around and got some dinner but there happens to be this little street market like just this little evening thing here but here let's see a little bit it's just like a little night market and they've got drinks they've got street food people are dancing live band it's a fun little evening <laughs> anyway i'm hungry and i gotta eat okay so i just got back to my hotel room I normally don't like showing what I'm about to eat, but I mean, this stuff is good. And the thing that I'm really surprised about, whoops, it's hard to do with one hand. Oh, this looked better when somebody else was eating it on their plate, but whatever. I would have liked to have seen a bit more cheese on there, but that's fine. 
And then also some calamari. And then I also, for dessert, there's a plate. I'm shocked it, that things were open. Oh, the cannoli, kind of this a cannoli. I'm shocked it was a Sunday night, and here in the center, things were still open. Uh, it was, I mean, like where I live in Alto Adige, like, <laughs> You're very lucky if you can find anything open at all. I mean, maybe like a supermarket, like one supermarket in the whole city, um, and maybe a couple cafes, maybe a restaurant, like a kebab, like a Turkish kebab place. But here, I, they have the option, like even for delivery. I didn't necessarily even think about this because where I live, I mean, it's a small little city, so we don't have delivery. I probably actually could have had this delivered to me, but whatever, I'm happy, it was nice to have a little walk. And one thing that was actually quite surprising was, uh, I mean, coming from the north, how much this all cost. Uh, in the north, I probably would have paid maybe double of what I paid here. The pizza and the calamari all together was 14 euros. This was 250. In where I live, maybe you would pay like 350 for one of these. The pizza would have probably easily been about eight to 12 euro and this probably would have been like 12 or 15 euro. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it could have even been a little bit more, a little bit less, but it's a very different experience when it comes to pricing of food here. But I am just about to eat, and that's the end of my first day here in Sicily. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe with that notification bell turned on. And if you feel like any of my videos have helped you or if you've just enjoyed them, maybe save a little bit of time or money, please consider becoming a monthly patron. You can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash Patreon. Or if you'd only like to help out once, please visit rafaeldifuria.com slash support. And as always, I'm Rafael Difuria, AKA Rafi Diaz me. Thank you for joining me on another beautiful Friday night. And I'll see you all next Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Later.